Yeah. This, which is amazing, man. Thank you, A, for your service and B, for the things you've done for the LGBTQ community. Like, round of applause. Um, seriously amazing work. He has a book. It's called Our Time. Um, I would read this if I could read. I, I actually, I can't read words. I can do some pictures for is you. Is there, if, if it's a picture yeah. book, I can, I, I would love to, uh, love to read it. So this is, the, the thing you're doing is, is one of the very, very relevant social topics right now. And that's why I, I, I actually think this podcast is going to be great because um, I am a huge proponent of the LGBTQ community. Again, believe it or not. And I always have been. Um, and so I think I, I'm, I'm very comfortable with this subject. So you're openly gay, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, Okay. So, so Mike was, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, lo- I love that. Surprise. <laughs> so, so, so did my comment offend you personally? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, and I think one of the reasons it offended me is that I watch some of your stuff on YouTube, um, but my brothers are 11 and 14 years younger than I am, and they love you. And, you know, they don't watch me on CNN or MSNBC, but they watch you. And so when they see you making a joke about being gay or going gay for a month, it affects them. You are a person that sets the tone of what is acceptable to make a joke of. And so when youth watch you and say, hey, Logan Paul made this joke, that's what kind of uh, legitimizes bullying in school. I mean, because, you know, I grew up you know, in a Southern Baptist uh, household where I had this in elementary school in the playground, they would joke about, hey, this kid's gay or things like that. And that's what people could take from your comments. And that's why it was um, awful. And I think uh, you two, especially like when you heard Logan say this, you should also step up to say, that's not cool, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I think you all, we need to be accountable as men to each other to say, hey, this is not okay. I I agree. Absolutely. Did you decide it was a joke? What? Did you decide it was a joke? For you? Over what you said? Yeah. Oh, I did not think it was a joke at all. I don't think it is acceptable to make that kind of joke. Do you think it's a joke? What what he said, do you think what he said was a joke? No. Was he, I think, I think right. what he's asking is, do you think he was being humorous or was he making a statement about an intention to actually- Oh, I think he was trying to be humorous. Okay. Was he successful? No. Okay. Did you come to that conclusion yourself? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I, I saw the comments right away and I was like, this is not, I mean, that's just not okay. Like if my- So if I want to hook up with dudes for a month in March, I can't do that. Are you being, making that as a joke or are you being legitimate? Like if you are generally uh, want to experiment with men, that's a different thing than saying, hey, I'm going to go gay for a month, so, making a joke. So if you're being a, if you're making a joke, that's one thing. If you're being serious and want to, and, and want to experiment with men, that's a completely different thing. And if you want to clarify that, I, that's that's what I would love to do here because that's where I feel like there's been uh, there's been uh, there's a gap some yeah. somewhere here between between what I said and what I tweeted back at Glad was um, this was a poor choice of words because that's what it was it was a very poor choice of words I understand now that I I've going gay is not a choice that is not what I implied by saying that that is that was what the narrative. That was chosen that the media decided to run with. I've never thought that. I think who you are attracted to is innate to who you are. That is genetic. And that's that's that. I've, I've thought that my whole life. And I've had arguments at length at this house about that. Like, plain and simple, that is what I believe. And by me saying I was going gay, horrible choice of words. Because, I again, I understand you cannot just go gay. But if I want to experiment with men for a month during March... How would you describe that action? It's experimentation. You're you're essentially maybe bi curious and you want to explore your sexuality and we need to support that. I mean, if that's what you're choosing to do is explore your sexuality, then we can have a discussion about that. And uh, I mean, there's tons of support and resources out there to do so, because I know it's a very scary thing being a very public person to say, hey, I, I, I have this curiosity. I want to explore my sexuality and we need to have a support system for that to happen. So but it's not it's not even scary to me because like sexuality is so fluid nowadays. I don't think twice about talking about being gay i don't give a shit i don't i don't think being gay is being gay is cool to me i think that it's a very cool thing it is incredibly courageous and noble if you are a gay person to come out and put your foot down and and defy society and say no this is who i am this is me there is nothing more beautiful than being yourself so i i I don't again I, i didn't think twice about it because to me sexuality is so fluid like I, I, like, I don't care if he's gay, if she's gay, if he's bisexual, if he's going to be a transgender. I don't give a fuck, dude. So that's why. And th- this this hurts me because I am such a pro gay dude. Like, 
um, what, I mean, if you're being truthful that you really are planning to experiment with men next month or in February, then let's, let's, let's make that clear. I mean, because I think that's what's that you need to make that clear so that people get do I, this. do I need to make that clear I think or so. is that, is, or is that up to me? Is that my decision? It's absolutely your decision, but I think that you need to clarify whether or not it's a joke or not a joke. 